in this module we would first like to begin with the question why do we visualize think of it today we are generating data with every single action of ours whether it is our shipping orders or it's our smart devices such as our smart watches that help track our activities now this produces a lot of raw data and in order to make sense of that data to convert that data into some valuable information we need to visualize it we need to make it simple and comprehensible so that we can derive insights from it in the form of charts graphs infographics and so on i'd like to take an example here in front of you what you see on your screen right now is a graph now this represents uh, the number of people who indicated that they were following a particular religion on the first side of this graph on the left hand side you can see that in 2009 77% of the respondents indicated that they followed a particular religion x and now the same graph uh, taken after a decade indicates that the number of people that the number of respondents who indicated that they followed that same particular religion x is down to 65% but do you see any problem in this particular graph and visualization if you just look at the visual cues of it you might see that when you compare these two graphs it looks like there's been a substantial drop from the first to the second it almost looks like if you compare the size it's almost like half or even one third of what it was but is that the reality in true math terms it's only 12 percentage points that has gone down thus this visualization does a poor job of conveying the message and actually conveying the story behind what the analysis was so that's one of the pitfalls of having bad visualizations even though the data might be right but the way you represent it or the way that you paint the picture might actually distort the facts and that is what we are going to be uncovering unveiling and making sure that we follow the standard best practices of data visualization thank you so much let's follow along with that journey of making data simpler more comprehensible and making sure that we follow the best practices of data visualization thank you